Следующая пара бойцов также из России и Таджикистана. И они представят нам поединок в легчайшем весе. И первым в синий угол октагона я приглашаю Никиту Кочеткова. Встречайте! You're watching MMA Series 16, OCE and GM Promotion. We're live from Moscow, Russia. Brought to you by the Fubo Sports Network and live around the world on the Clash TV app. Remember to score the fights, clap for your favorite fighter and ask any questions. I will be scoring the fights as we go and this is the third fight on our main card. Seventh out of 12 fights we have here this evening. Nikita Kochetkov. 10 wins and 7 defeats, a very experienced professional here fighting at bantamweight. His wins a variety of wins over TKOs, submissions and decision wins, showing a good background and what you'd expect in someone who's had 17 professional fights. When you look at his losses, his losses are mainly by submission, so watch out for him on the floor, whether he tries to keep this fight standing. Никита Кочетков, Россия. Я приглашаю в клетку соперника, боец из Таджикистана, Шерзот Каюма. His opponent making his way down to the red corner. For this bantamweight bout, Shirzod Kayamanov fighting out of Tajikistan. He's a record of three wins and three defeats. He's only ever lost by decision, all on points, and his wins have come by submission. So looking as a balance on paper, if I was going to predict this fight, I'd say Kayamanov is going to want to take Kochikov to the floor, try to work that submission game. But with only six fights, can he match the experience, the all-round ability of Nikita Kochekov? Very interesting matchup here, and expect them to start fast as we do with the bantamweights. Уважаемая публика, я представляю вам участника в схватке и первым бойца, который стоит по правую руку от меня. Ему 25 лет, его официальный вес 61 килограмм 800 граммов при росте 178 сантиметров. Его профессиональный рекорд набирает обороты 10 побед при 7 поражениях. Он представляет легендарный клуб чемпионов «Род Москва» по прозвищу «Правый». Никита Кочетков! Россия и его соперник напротив, через клетку, выйдет на поединок из красного угла. Ему 26 лет. Его вес официальный на данный момент 61 килограмм 800 граммов при росте 171 сантиметр. Его профессиональный рекорд составляет три победы при двух поражениях. И он представляет Таджикистан! Шерсот! Бойцы на середину рефери поединка господин Шанс Александр. Господа, это профессиональный бой, вы знаете правила. Не нарушайте их. Активно защищайтесь во время всего боя. Внимательно слушайте мои команды. Пожали руки по углам. You watching MMA Series 16 OCE and GM Promotion. We're live from Moscow. And this is a bantamweight contest between Kochikov in the blue corner, Kayamov in the red. Touch of gloves and expect a fast start from these two here. Kayamov 
with a low kick. Stalking forward is Kochakov. Watch for Kayamov to try to draw him on and then switch levels, go for the takedown. Kochakov stomps for the leg and then jabs high. Inside low kick, high kick. Nicely mixing up the strikes here already, Kochakov. Controlling centre cage, backing up Kayamov. Catches the leg, Kayamov, as expected, looks for the clinch. Breakaway with a punch, and that was a good shot there from Kayamov, who now comes on the front foot. Nice work back there from Kayamov. Backwards and forwards. Now it's Kochikov dancing around the outside, trying to throw counters. As Kayamov backs him up, again looks to close distance. He dived in too much for the shoot there and paid for it as he was bundled onto the floor there from Kochikov. Full guard now. Uses his feet to turn his head away from the cage. Looking to work his guard work, legs up high. Good posture there from Kochikov though. You see Kayamov looking to turn over, grab the leg, he wants the top position. Well defended here though, Kochikov staying on top. Got the overhook whizzer there. Kayamov tries to pull the leg out, tries to off-balance Kochikov. Who's showing great balance, great defense here against the fence, doing everything right there with a nice split squat, which turns him round. And now he's pushing Kayamov against the fence. That was good wrestling, good balance and technique there against the fence. Now he gets the takedown. Again, it looked to be the stronger of the two in that clinch. But Kayamov wanting the fight to the floor, but he's been out-wrestled by Kochikov. <laughs> Southpaw jab, followed by a flurry of shots there from Kochikov. Body kick lands. Moving around on his back foot there. Again, you see the playground head look gives up the back. You wouldn't expect that from an experienced fighter with 17 professional fights. He gave up the back quite easily there. But good wrestling again. He's got the wizard. He's managed to get back chest to chest. Uses the wizard for a throw and gets top position into mount. Again, good wrestling after that mistake with the playground headlock. Pushes down the head. Good mount position, this picking his shots. Switches for the armbar, belly down. Escape there, managed to get the head out and escapes round. Again, showing how dangerous it is, but he gives up the back again. Kochikov will be feeling fairly comfortable. He's got in this position a couple of times now and he's got good wrestling, good ability to turn round back. Watch for him again to turn out of this position. Working the elbow. I always advise the guys, if you get the back, get the under over clinch at the back to put your ear onto the spine where you can't be hit. Here now he's burying his head on the inside. He's still got the under over, but the back front to front. Kayamov burying the head into the chest. The breakaway back into open play. Good work from both guys here. Koch covered a 1 2 again. Certainly winning the striking game as you see the total strikes there. There's some clean shots back though there from Kayamov, who finishes the round with some good, crisp, clean shots of his own. So a very interesting first round. 
guys watching at home in the Clash TV app, score these fights, clap for your favourite fight. Look at the timing there and that takedown. From out of distance, Kayamov shot in and Kochkov saw it, put his weight down heavy onto the shoulders and got the top. That's where he went for the playground headlock and just gave up his back. And there you see the difference when he has the whizzer and does the same position and he can put him onto his back. The strikes tell a story there, 44 strikes with 18 landed to Kochikov, Kaimanov, 15 shots with 11 landed, so higher success rate percentage wise, but not as many strikes landed. The busier of the two being Kochikov. These corners will be giving them instructions now here for round number two. Уважаемая публика, вы готовы? Пойти продолжают. Второй раунд. MMA Series 16, OCE and GM promotion. We've got Kochikov in the blue, Kaimanov in the red. The guys at home on Clash TV are scoring this very similar to me. Definitely Kochikov ahead on points. More shots landed. And the better control, I believe, in the clinch. So fighting out the southpaw stance, white shorts is Kochikov. These are solid punches. Standing his ground, keeping his weight well balanced. And that was a good jab cross. Now he switches to orthodox and fires the jab from the orthodox stance. Nice feints. Stutter step, we call that. As he stutters in and back out. Again, giving Kaimov lots to think about. Overhand right from Kaimov falls well short. Low kick lands. This is good again, cage control. Keeping Kaimov in the outside area of the cage. Working around. We saw in the first round he, he changed the tactics and worked on the outside himself. And here there you see again, when he, when Kaimov comes forward, he can dance away, work out a distance and counter. Again, Kaimov not really landing much clean there. Kochkov's just showing real versatility in the striking by being able to work on the front foot and on the back foot. Oh, but that was a better time shoot. Great work there from Kayanov. Changed levels, got behind both knees, got the takedown. So we see Kochkov trying to work up against the fence. He's got his bum against the fence, gets to the hand. So you say here, you work your hips first, then onto your elbow, then your hand, and you see how he's working up there, pushing the head down and working up onto the fence. But the grip of the legs from Kaimanov is keeping the hand, is keeping the legs together with his hands gripped. Works up to the body clinch now. So let go of the legs, came up to the body clinch. Kochikov. We've seen he's better from this position. He's better defending the body clinch than he is the legs. Watch him to turn into him, get that wizard again into that position exactly and uses the wizard throw just as we saw in round number one. Certainly favours that position. I think that was poor planning there from Kaimanov who was doing much better work when he was attacking the legs rather than going up to the clinch where Kochkov seems to dominate. Gets up to the mount again. He's going to look for a triangle from this position. He's got the mount a triangle position if he can just get his left leg around the back of the head. Kaimanov making it difficult by putting his legs up underneath the armpits. Kochkov needs to clear those legs back and if he can move his leg behind the head, he can actually finish a triangle here. Looking to pull the arms together. 
needs to clear the leg again. That was good work there from Kaimanov, who got himself out of the triangle position, using his feet underneath the armpits. He pulled himself out. He's still in a bad position, but he's out of the submission. 9ice work again the transitions and movement in these scrambles from Kotchkov are beautiful showing his 17 fights experience as he gets back to the mount position now looking to maybe use the Americana to set up the submission 50 seconds left in round number two this is MMA series 16 OC and GM promotion live on the football sports network and around the world on the clash TV app these are big shots now from the mount position. He's covering up, but he needs to do some intelligent defense. 30 seconds left. Kotskov looking to finish. Driving punches down, no intelligent defense coming back. Referee will be looking on closely. Kaimanov gives up his back. Kotskov carries on the ground and pound. 14 seconds left. I'm sure his corner is shouting screaming at him to finish he can't hit the back of the head so he has to, has to be careful from his position looking for the choke i think it'd have been better working the ground and pound as he goes into the guard and that is a good solid second round from nikita kochikov You see the replay, that was that fast shoot. That timing on the double leg was perfect there. But again, we see that wizard throw into the side control and the dominance on the ground here from Nikita Kochikov, who for me is pulling away in this fight. I think the second round was a clearer win even than the first round. There we see the ground and pound from that mount position. Legs coming up from Kaimanov. And we're just giving a, enough problems to stop Kotchkov finishing. And look at that, nearly 100 shots thrown from Kotchkov. 61 landed compared with 12 landed from Kaimanov. So I think the doctor just checking the cut there on the forehead of Nikita Kochkov. Just requesting a wiping of the floor. I think the water on the floor there from Nikita Kochkov. I'm not sure how bad that water is, but if that was a an experienced ploy to get a little bit of extra time. It was good work from Nikita Kochkov. So here we go, third and final round. This is MMA Series 16, OCE and GM promotion. Third round between Nikita Kochkov in the blue and Shirzad Kaimanov in the red. Kochkov for me, two rounds up. I believe for the guys at home on the Clash TV app, also scoring him ahead. Kaimanov has a lot to do. He needs to work that double leg. He's got the good double leg shoot, but he needs to do something with it once he gets to the floor. He needs to dominate and control position. He's losing the scrambles. He's losing the upper body clinch wrestling, and he's certainly losing the striking here. His only chance for me is to get the takedown and pass that guard and control from top position. Inside leg kick, Kaimanov. Who again has been forced around the outside of the cage by the footwork of Kochikov. There's a lazy kick, looking tired there with that strike. Kochikov, no sharpness in the kick. Still backing up with the footwork. Kaimanov hesitating too much for me. There you see the full array combination of shots from Kochikov. 
Kaimanov needs to draw him as he's coming on forwards and drop down for that double leg takedown. It's his best success and his best chance of a win here. Three minutes, 20 seconds left. Third and final round. It's MMA Series 16, OCE and GM Promotion. That's a nice combination there. Again, far more shots thrown, far more landed from Nikita Kochkov. Nice jab there. The jab, an underused weapon in mixed martial arts, but especially when you're throwing that southpaw jab against someone who's not used to the striking, you can really pick off the shots well. Step into the outside of the lead left foot and throwing that jab over the top. Kaimanov again walks forward but out of distance and it's the jab picking him off. This is beautiful boxing work here from Nikita Kotsukov. Racking up the strikes there. Look at that, 134 to 70 with 73 landed. Stomp kick and then back to the jab. Definitely throws better strikes when he stood in the southpaw stance, Kotchikov. More natural to him, suggesting he's a left-handed fighter. And that was a well-timed double leg takedown from the other side. That's exactly what I wanted Kaimanov to do to try to bring himself back into this fight. But no, Nikita Kotchikov switches levels, gets the double leg takedown. Let's see if he can work past those legs. Kaimanov needs to try to attack here. We've seen he's got a good guard work earlier on. He started to attack really early on for the triangle. But we saw good posture and defense from Kotchikov. He also needs to watch for these elbows that seem to be cutting the forehead and the head. Kaimanov elbowing from underneath the mount, uh, underneath the guard, sorry. Again, looking to get those legs up high. He's to control the arm, control the shoulder, keep the posture down while he works the legs up. Yeah, posture's up, but that's the, da the danger. He postured up, committed to the shot, and nearly got caught in the armbar. Maybe he'll switch back to a triangle. It lets him back down into full guard. A good submission awareness. There, as that was a fast attack. He threw the strike in and maybe that will stop Kotchikov from committing now for the rest of this fight because he's well ahead on points. 30 seconds left. Will he look for a finish? Will he look to strike? Or will he play it safe? Looking to stand up there. Push his hips forward. Crush down the guard. Make it difficult for the attacks. And put him in a good position to throw punches. Again, up to his feet, hips down heavy. This is good work here again from Kotskov. Crushing the guard, really closing down the attacks of Kaimanov as he throws the strikes in. And that for me was a dominant performance in every single range from Nikita Kotskov. He dominated the striking from both stances, mainly from the, or, um, from the southpaw stance. He dominated all the upper clinch work and then on the floor completely took over that fight. Look at the stats there, 180 compared with 60 thrown. Three times as many shots thrown. as we wait for the official decision. Make sure you ask any questions. Right, Score the fights, clap for your favorite fighters. Right.
победу одержал Никита Кочетков. There you go, unanimous points decision there for Nikita Kotsikov. Three rounds of bantamweight action here. I will not wait. We'll say shortly. I want to thank those who helped me, my coaches, my teammates. Our head coach, Alexander Sidorinov, is not here, unfortunately. But here it is, Sergei Belostenny, the great fighter, who helped me a lot to prepare for this fight. I wish good luck to my teammates who is going to fight tomorrow. And to my team, Club Rod. And my fiance Внимание. is here, Polina. And my mother, who is here for the first time seeing my fight. I love you very much. Thanks to the team Octagon Show. Thanks to everyone. You see the replay of this bantamweight contest. Shirzod Kaimanov takes on Nikita Kochtikov. Kochtikov won for me in every range there. You saw the timing on that takedown defense. There in the scramble, Kaimanov managed to get the back, but Nikita, every single time, managed to get back, get himself back chest to chest. And these whizzer throws, excellent as he then transitions to mount and dominated from the mount position. He was close to getting submissions, grinding out strikes, ground and pound. And it was a clear points win for me. Winning every range and then finished off with a takedown and ground control. Ground and pound.